All right, today I wanna to talk about exponential and deal rates. The first thing I wanna say, if uh, you tell a friend you're coming to pick him up and you spend $25 in your gas tank in an hour and a half to get to that person's house and they gone, you're not there. They didn't have the common courtesy to call you and let you know that they was going somewhere. Wouldn't you be pissed off? If I did something like that, somebody might get my ass kicked. But anyway, the same respect applies that if you tell a person, hey, I'm going to come pick you up at 7.30 in the morning. If you don't make it to that person's house at 7.30, don't you guys think that you should have the common courtesy to call that man and let him know, hey, something came up. Rather than when that man calls you at 9 o'clock, you tell him, hey, if you can't figure it out, if I ain't there by 7.30 then, and hang up in your face. You know, what kind of person are you? Right is right and right don't wrong nobody. Anyway, back to the video. Now, uh, this is how uh, I guess I finally got my dual rates and exponential figured out. Uh, on your spectrum radio, your dual rates are reversed. So this is for us with Taba users. Yeah, just remember yours are reversed. Oh, there we go. Okay, on my aileron, you see I have a 85% dual rate, which is the speed of the servo, and I have a positive 35% uh, exponential on my cyclic stick as well as the elevator because when I um when I when I move the cyclic stick when the helicopter is is hovering I want to have control of my movements with that cyclic stick. You guys understand what I mean? Now with my uh rudder stick I want less exponential because sometime when I'm giving it a uh, positive and negative collective my hand might tend to move a little bit and I don't want the tail to kick while I'm doing a flip if I should happen to move it a little bit to the left or right so I have less exponential in my colle uh, collective stick so when I go to my aileron down here and run down then when I flip the switch I'll have a hundred percent servo speed on the dual rate and uh, my exponential uh, will still be the same because I still want the same feel with, with my stick I just want a, a faster servo movement with the cyclic right okay now when I go to my rudder I should have uh, well I have negative 10 because like I said I don't want it too touchy in, in the center here and uh, so as normal mode is 10% uh, negative would be positive on spectrum and 110 on the dual rate because I want to tell I like my tail has been fast. Now even normal mode or, or say say for uh, for the faster uh, forward flight, I uh, still have my exponential at 10, and my dual rate will still also be at uh, 110. I, I just keep my speed of the servo and uh, my expo the same. You can also speed up your uh, dual rate by your endpoints. But for now, I'm using it at 100%. And uh, I was watching a Finless Bob 101 video last night. And I see that I can also tie my dual rates into my idle up switch. So in normal mode, I can have my 85. I'm not sure, I'm going to try 80% also on the dual rate. Um, normal flight and when I go into idle up 
I'm just gonna only gonna have the uh, RPM speed up. Still gonna have 80 to 85 percent on my dual rate and um, my uh, 30 percent on the collective and my 10 percent on my rudder. And when I uh, in normal flight, and when I go to idle two, then I can have my 100% uh, dual rate with my 30% uh, collective positive and my 10% negative rudder. I hope that uh, makes sense to you guys because uh, I've been uh, doing the simulator so much and I finally figured out it was a way that I could tie my radio into feel similar to the simulator and, and, and the uh, movement with the dual rates and exponentials. And, and that's going to help me a little bit more. I mean, you still got to get get your courage in there if you got it. But I think that if you feel better connected to your helicopter with your exponentials and your dual rate, then you you you, you might have that much more courage to do the things that you do on the simulator. Um, did I leave out anything? I think that's it. Remember your uh, your exponentials are uh, negative on your spectrum and positive on the Futaba, so you would be using neg 30 negative instead of using 30 positive. Uh, Finless Bob uses 30% negative on his cyclic as well from his uh, exponential 101 video. Uh, I, I, I didn't hear him explain. Uh, what he actually used on his rudder and again uh, your exponential and dual rates that that also depends on the speed of your servos if you're using analog servos um, you might have to give it uh, more exponential and uh, I don't know some guys say they fly with no um, exponential at all so I don't know if that's in both the uh, collective and the cyclic but I could just imagine if they did that then they would just adjust the speed of their servo because although it, it would be really twitchy if the servo speed was really fast so they they that would slow down the servo I guess but I don't know that's, that, that's their way but anyway like I said mine is, is less twitchy on the uh, collective and more tight on on that rudder stick so that when you cycle in the helicopter you know you like you don't want it sloppy like I had mine when I would take off the helicopter would begin to tip over and the blade would strike the ground so I figured I had to tighten it up on the cyclic a little more same thing when I was trying to hover my 500 uh, a few days ago I couldn't figure out why when the helicopter was taking off it felt like it, I had to lean the stick to this side to make it stay level and I kept trying to trim it but it wasn't the trim it was the exponential uh, Danny Lightning tells me that uh, on his uh, 500 he actually has to use uh, I, don't know, I think you said more or less uh, X4 dual rate but uh, I hope this helps everybody to understand a little bit more like I think I finally got it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Say goodbye, Jack. All right, Jack, goodbye.